Hi, I'm Pete Barrell, and I'm with Eastern University, and we're here with the Philadelphia Project, and we're going to be talking with their founder and director, Ray, who's also an Eastern University alum. Ray, how, what, what, what is all this? What's going on here? Yeah, so here at Creation, we host a campsite for five or six small youth groups so that they can come together and have this opportunity. But the Philadelphia Project really is a nonprofit in uh, the northwest section of Philadelphia that focuses on um, addressing needs for pre people who live in our neighborhood. We're trying to partner the local church back with the community by bringing folks in from all over the country to serve. Uh, we do free home repair as well as doing community camp for kids who can't afford to get away to camp. That's great. And how did you how did you start this? You're the founder, you're the director, you started this thing how many years ago? Yeah, so the vision for it started in 1995. I was sitting with my youth pastor, and basically what happened was my youth pastor, I asked him, I said, if, if we're the church, then doesn't it have to be something different than this? Why are there homeless people who are living in our neighborhood? Why, is, why are there so many hurts in the world, and how can we begin to address them? How can a church really come to life? I got to Eastern University, started sitting with my mentor, Duffy Robbins, and I asked him that same question in 1997. And he started praying with me about the eventually starting the Philadelphia Project. We didn't know that's what it was going to be at that time. I became a youth pastor for 13 years, and during those 13 years, started doing mission trips with my youth group. And uh, as we went out and had all these experiences, God just kind of kept prepping my heart and saying, what does it look like to do something like this back in the city of Philadelphia? From that, we eventually started the Philadelphia Project in 2010, as, uh, as the church where I was youth pastor at the time sponsored us to go out and get this thing started. So what's the intersection between your educational history with Eastern University and Palmer Theological Seminary and your work on a day-to-day -day basis. Where's the, where's the intersection of that kind of faith, reason, justice in your education? Yeah, so Eastern really set me up to get started with that and then Palmer kind of drove it home. At Eastern, I, you know, studying under Duffy and Tony and folks like that, there was always the question of how can we become more justice oriented? How can we take our faith and allow our faith to impact the way we live every day, not just allow our faith to impact our Sundays and our Wednesdays at youth group and church? Then when I got off to Palmer, I you know, started thinking more theologically about those kind of questions and started asking, like, um, how can we take and put skin on those ideas? And so the concept of the Philadelphia Project got birthed out, out, of, out of sitting with people like Ron Siders and, and Al Tizan and folks like that who were really helping me to shape the idea of what does it mean to be to act justly in our neighborhood. So not thinking so much about how to do that all around the world just yet, but what does that mean to do it at home first? Tell us a little bit about your work at Creation. We're at Creation uh, 2013 right now. This is your 35th year. Also, this whole thing was founded by a Palmer alum named uh, Pastor Harry Thomas. And you've kind of got a unique way of giving kids this experience here at Creation. Let's talk yeah, a little so, bit about that. So after coming, in, after coming to Creation as a youth pastor for so many years, and I was always involved with smaller youth groups, um, creation was just a lot of work for us. It was just, you know, I spent all my time doing logistics and I felt like at the end of the week I missed opportunities to really be able to, to just to do ministry with students. And so when we started the Philadelphia Project, one of the ways we felt like we could serve youth pastors and serve students was to come out and to host a campsite like this. So we'll host this site. There's uh, about 85 people on our campsite and it really enables the youth pastors to not have to think about any logistics at all. It's just our way of saying we want to serve you. We want to make it possible for you to be able to do ministry so that they can go back from an event like this and they can build on the relationships that they built with the students while they were here. I'm a youth pastor, I've got 20, 25 kids, and I want to get involved with the Philadelphia Project. How do I do that? Yeah, the first thing you do is go to our website, thephiladelphiaproject.com. After that, you can check out all the things we do. We do week-long trips during the summer, alternative spring breaks for college students. Then during the year, September through May, we do weekend service retreats. Basically, you come in on Friday, you serve on Saturday, you go to church on Sunday with us. We, uh, we have a chance to do cross-cultural ministry, but at the end of the day, we're kind of prepping your students to go back and ask the question, what does it look like to serve our neighbors in our neighborhood? We really want to empower young people to go back into their neighborhood and be service-minded and faith-oriented in, in, the, in the context that God has them in every day. Thanks so much. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate you taking time out of your busy day. It's good to see you again. We really appreciate it. Make sure you like us on Facebook. God bless.